Hello friends, welcome to my Royal Family News Channel. Before moving on to the video, if you are not subscribed to my channel, do not forget to subscribe and turn on notifications, so let's move on to the video. Meghan has now seemingly shifted her position and displayed a stronger approach to titles, specifically those linked with the king. She is evidently tenacious and on a mission, however this latest stunt only serves to underscore that it for sure seems her motives stem from personal advantage. Indeed, a whole lot has piqued the public's curiosity over the years, but nothing quite like how those few words, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Originally an insider said, Meghan made a real hoo-ha in her public speeches, you lay down with dogs, then you get fleas. Yet, for all her aloofness it was easy to get used to calling them the Duke and Duchess of Sussex even though Meghan has only been seen in Little Old Sussex once and that hardly counts. We also cannot help but wonder what were her thoughts on her and Harry's titles, probably for the region where Sussex is located, a superstar related to it worldwide, anyway it's something they have not really heard of. Bizarrely, however, Meghan previously insisted that she did not care about titles for herself, only the status of her children. Many have been fascinated by this. Apparently, she turned down the title of Earl of Dumbarton for Archie because there was no chance in hell that her kid would be tied to Dumb. Given that one should be thankful for any title, this is a rather peculiar basis to reject it. But in this instance, it appears not. Now it seems Meghan is looking to pivot, particularly in light of recent events such as the plot to assassinate 45th President of the United States Donald Trump. The choice would indicate a desire to rebrand among the public or create space between her and new titles she hinted at not wanting in earlier interviews. So what much now be a precarious predicament, Harry and Meghan are stuck with their newfound status and even more tangled web. This is further compounded when they are contorted into a wider political landscape, with Kamala Harris, an even less palatable woman of color clamoring for the seat. The news is another complication for Harry and Meghan as they set out on their independent life together. Maybe not in the minds of every member of her team, but Meghan is plenty excited and heartened about the state of politics nowadays. If you remember, the last time around they made a somewhat melancholy film of them sitting on a bench and asking people to vote. This sums up a concept Meghan holds dear, that regardless of what titles he may be denied in the future, Harry will always have his prince dom and still belongs to daddy, making him permanent. Meghan has one of the most famous names in the world, Meghan Markle and feels she does not need titles to pursue her goals. She has even quipped that if we're asked to relinquish a title, it doesn't bother her too much. But the same doesn't hold true for Prince Harry. Born in the royal family, he is deeply attached to his royal heritage and will never be able to completely break all ties, not White House or anywhere else. Well, it turned out Harry was living a life he hadn't wanted for himself. They wanted to flee to Africa and live in peace out of the public eye, living a simply happy life. The dream he had imagined and the reality that comes with it are two different sides of a coin, but Harry is still contending as to how both combine in one entity. The struggles they endure are increasing, and the tale is unfolding in a way neither Harry nor Meghan envisaged. Obviously Meghan flits from duchess to jam maker to wannabe politician too often for some. Any connection to Meghan, Kamala Harris ought to be wary about, as Meghan means trouble to say the least. To most, any political aspirations of Meghan are pure fantasy since the landscape is overflowing with liars and politicos wannabes, a delister would be overkill. Especially when she's got matching Sussex Sirai Fast, an heirloom sofa, and a baby tray table, bonus additioned, I'm trying to assume Meghan doesn't literally mean that title. Take away her title and she's just Markle, a middle-aged woman who is where she is today only because she lucked out by marrying a prince not through achievement as an actress. If it was without Harry, she is nothing and no one. And the tide is turning in favor of the argument that Meghan might persuade Parliament to remove her titles. How is it, we all must wonder that mum can be trumped by anything. As with you, many might say that Harry usually looks utterly miserable when the fact is he appears to keep selecting this road. In his case, Harry gave up everything for Meghan, and with him it is clear that their alliance has hurt himself. 
It is true that Harry might have earned a few bucks from his book, but he appears not to be spending wisely by wasting all away on useless legal fights. Do you think Harry's choice to leave the royal family is silly and should never have happened, then perhaps comment number one. Now, on to the crux of what about that statute of limitations. William settled but Harry refused and took years to sue journalism was transformed by the media many moons ago, they no longer hack into phones or intercept emails. It does appear Harry is just doing this for the money. Harry, get a new job other than suing people. If you are a good worker, then please prove it. Quit bitching about your mom being dead, enough of the father and stepmom bashing, you should pay a shrink if you are not tired yet, nice guy act brother and his hoe wife too. Go on. You may well loathe the monarchy and what it represents, but your brother and father seem proud to serve their country. Maybe your brother said he wants to get out from under the yoke, but he's actually good at it and seems proud of what he's doing. Can you really say the same? Should Harry be so crass as to parade Meghan around Birmingham, UK when Invictus holds its global jamboree there, they will deserve all the boos and denunciation for the liars and hypocrites that they are. The media must not allow them to rewrite history once more or for Harry to get away with his lies and hypocrisy. The media needs to do its job, it has let him skate for far too long. Harry has to show up in the UK with Meghan and their two little chicks even after everything he said on that interview, we should not let him get away only because of being son and heir apparent Harry. It's frustrating to see the media and royal experts consistently making excuses for Harry and Meghan every time they lie or display their hypocrisy. Harry may still hold on to his titles, but he's not honoring them with his poor behavior. Those titles should have been stripped after the lies told during the Oprah interview, but better late than never. Who in their right mind would care about this dishonest pair? Meghan may be famous, but not for the right reasons. She's become notorious, and Harry, generally invisible, is overshadowed by her brash, in-your-face attitude. Stripping them of their titles would allow Meghan to speak about politics all she wants is Meghan Markle in the US, freeing Charles from further stress and embarrassment. It's clear that, with or without titles, Harry and Meghan will continue their antics, so it might as well be without the Royal Association. Those of us in Sussex don't want any connection to Meghan or her handbag husband. We wish the titles were taken away to disassociate them from our beautiful county. A message to Meghan, stop trying to fool yourself and others. Titles mean everything to her, and without them, she has nothing. The idea of Meghan entering politics is absurd. Who would vote for her, or even consider putting her forward as a candidate? Everything she touches seems to turn to disaster, it's like the kiss of death. That's it for our video my friends, I hope you have liked it, please let me know your thoughts in the comments, and like the video. If you haven't done so yet if you want to be first to be informed about my content, please subscribe to the channel and make sure you turn on notifications. Thank you for spending this time with me, take care of yourself and stay healthy, I'll see you in the next one.